Well, thank you for joining us here at Cincy AI Week. And tell us a little bit about what inspires you. Um, really, I've got to say, I'm doing a lot of work with AI right now. Uh, I'm actually doing a, some AI stuff with the city of Hamilton for their schools. And what I'm doing is kind of building an AI system for teachers and students to use. So essentially like teaching the teachers how to use something like Notebook LM, for example, and being able to upload their curriculum into it so students can pull information that the teacher's providing instead of just anything off the internet. So they kind of get more um, factual information and also have a little bit of a study guide because a teacher is one person and when they have 30 to, you know, sometimes these days, even 40 students in one classroom, it's hard to give everyone the attention that they need. Okay. Can you uh, complete this sentence for us? A great story always has... Um, a great story always have um, a background behind it. Okay. And tell us a little bit about where your company would be if it wasn't for AI. Well, I won't say how dated, but I would be more um, struggling, I, I would say. AI has done a lot of help just for me being a young entrepreneur. Um, I just got out of high school, so I'm only 18 and AI was able to kind of give me the information I needed based off of years of knowledge and information. Wow, and where's the human component come into play there of working with AI? Um, I've got to say like the hands-on work and actually being able to go out and um, kind of network network yourself. I've def I definitely say that that's where kind of the, uh, the human part comes in, at least for having the business and AI use, but also being able to properly prompt AI to give you the proper information you need. Because you can give it a brief description of what you need, but it'll kind of give you a brief description back and if you need details then it's really important to kind of give it details and begin with okay and what are some misconceptions people have about ai um i feel like a lot of misconceptions is that ai is here to take everyone's job and to kind of cause harm to the humanity in general but i say that ai is more of a tool a resource than it is to be seen as something that we should shun away um, if everyone were to take that same energy and put it towards using AI to grow themselves or their business, then it would help everyone kind of be in a better position, kind of look at AI as like the new Google essentially. Okay. And what does the next generation of brand storytelling look like to you? Um, I see the future kind of giving us, especially with the AI that we have right now, I feel like it's going to help a lot of people be able to actually start their ideas because um, a lot of people have good ideas, but the thing is that they, they don't know how to implement or start that idea. And that's where AI comes into play. AI can help you, you know, build the foundation so you can start building your house. Okay. And how is your company helping to meet the needs by utilizing AI for people? Well, one thing that my, you know, company uses AI for is kind of seeing um, what's best bang for buck, especially for everything that someone needs because companies have multiple different sources. Like, for example, you might have people doing graphic design versus people who's just out in the field kind of being salesmen and them two are going to be using to totally different devices, of course. But being able to kind of have AI lay out um, all the devices that they would need and me got kind of going through and making sure that, you know, everything's factually correct and making my own tweaks depending on the budgets and stuff like that for the businesses. Um, that's that's kind of where I feel like, you know, AI helps me out in that portion. And also uh, to generate advertisements and to make different posts about where I'm at in life and, you know, uh, with the business and stuff like that. Okay. And what does co-creation look like to you when it comes to creating things with a mix of that AI technology and humans? Um, I feel like a big one really, especially right now, is documentation. AI is really good at kind of at least giving you a starter of like even a spreadsheet or a PDF, just to kind of give you that base so people can, you know, uh, it helps them out with the first part. The, the hardest part is kind of writing that first, you know, layout down. And uh, I feel like AI is really good at doing that. Okay. And what's your personal superhero trait? What's the thing that you can do that AI can never replace? 
Hardware repair. Okay. Yep. I mean, that's a hands-on physical thing. AI is still in the computer. AI, you know, still needs a computer to run. So a lot of people, especially now these days, are like, oh, well, you know, it's all about software or cloud-based. But what they don't understand is that all that stuff has to run on some type of hardware device. It has to run on some type of computer. And that's where I come in doing the repairs for those computers. When it comes to either the power supply or the CPU, GPU, um, I'm, you know, I'm the guy that has to go out there and actually fix it so AI can run properly. Okay. Well, thank you so much for taking time at Cincy AI Week to share with us. Oh, thank you.